If you're a fan of SpaceX and Elon Musk, you've probably already heard this news, but I wanted to talk about it anyway. So earlier this week, Monday, November 11th, SpaceX launched 60 more satellites into orbit as part of Elon Musk's Starlink mission to bring high-speed internet to large remote areas of the world. Enabled by a constellation of low Earth orbit satellites, Starlink will provide fast, reliable internet to populations with little or no connectivity, including those in rural communities and places where existing services are just too expensive or unreliable. The launch began at 9.56 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida and was live streamed on SpaceX's website. The satellites launched from a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. About an hour after liftoff, SpaceX confirmed that all 60 Starlink satellites had been successfully deployed. Monday's satellite launch was a big milestone for SpaceX. It was the heaviest payload to date, first reflight of a fairing, and first Falcon 9 to fly a fourth mission. The mission was actually a huge success in many aspects, and Starlink's mission is to provide internet access to the world, and it seems like they are well on their way to doing so. A basic Google search would tell you that more than half of the world's population still does not have internet access, with Asia and Africa having the lowest rates of access. There are somewhere around 7.6 to almost 8 billion people on Earth right now, and out of that number, only around 3.5 billion people have internet access. I personally believe that Starlink's mission to provide internet access for the entire world is awesome. The amount of innovation and technological advancement and just the advancement of the human race in general is is astounding and it's all because of the internet and us being interconnected and having the ability to communicate with each other no matter where we are around the world. We can share ideas. And so with more people on the internet, you're going to have more ideas being shared possibly more innovation. It all seems like a great idea, at least in my opinion, but others may disagree. Back in May of this year, the American Astronomical Society issued a statement of concern over the, quote, impending deployment of very large constellations of satellite into Earth orbit, unquote. Their concern is that space is just becoming too overpopulated with satellites and other man-made objects, which may pose a threat to people on the surface and other satellites in space that are being used for astronomy. Here's a direct quote from the American Astronomical Society. The number of such satellites is projected to grow into the tens of thousands over the next several years, creating the potential for substantial adverse impacts to the ground and space-based astronomy. These impacts could include significant disruption of optical and near-infrared observations by direct detection of satellites in reflected and emitted light, contamination of radio astronomical observations by electromagnetic radiation and satellite communication bands, and collision with space-based observatories. Elon Musk has actually responded to all the criticism via Twitter with this post. There are already 4,900 satellites in orbit, which people notice 0% of the time. Starlink won't be seen by anyone unless looking very carefully and will have zero impact on advancements in astronomy. We need to move telescopes to orbit anyway. Atmospheric attenuation is terrible. I think that both sides make a valid point. The American Astronomical Society is right to have concerns over all the satellites in space interfering with astronomy and communications and basically posing a threat to people on the surface. And Elon Musk is right in wanting to provide the world with internet. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that SpaceX is planning to launch a total of somewhere around 42,000 satellites into low Earth orbit. So yeah, we should definitely think about all the ramifications and potential problems that could occur with having that many satellites in outer space. But I'm sure Elon Musk can do it. He is probably the best person for this type of job. And so I have no doubts. But let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. What do you think about Starlink's mission to provide the world with internet? What are some of the problems that could occur from having an extra 42,000 satellites in outer space? Until next time, take care.